What if he hurts your kid just one time? And he's an idiot too, by the way. He's There's no accountability for this guy. He could always just claim that he was stupid. <laughs> he might be playing the long game. He's ready to abuse your kid. He just spent 20 years getting you comfortable with it first. So that when he finally <laughs> does it, he can be the Lenny like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, right, dude. Except they are going to believe it. So, in Game of Thrones, one of the most iconic characters of all time is Hodor. And we hardly see him oh, yeah. in episode one. But you know, after rewatching this, I'm thinking... There's no way this guy should be trusted around children. What no, the hell is going on in Winterfell? Absolutely not. We, you can justify it a little bit by saying that, you know, the Hodor, they had many, many years where he basically had a clean record. You know, it's like, it's been this many days since the last incident, right? And it's like a massive right. number. But Hodor is part giant. He's freaky strong. He's hung like a horse. It only takes one incident. And now your kid's dead. Your kid's right. dead or at least traumatized. You know what I mean? He's never going to shit the same again. I'm just, I'm just saying. It only takes <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Zach, you, you trusting your kids around this guy? I mean, no, no, I'm not going <laughs> to trust my kids around this guy. But I can see why other people might. I mean, he's, he's kind of simple. Maybe he's. Um, That's the problem. E easily controlled. Maybe you just really, you know, cinch up his pants really tight so he can't get them off. I don't know. <laughs> well, listen, you're like the ward. <laughs> Like the yeah. Lord of Winterfell. You're yeah. not in like need of child care. You have so right. many people around and you're like, oh, I'll just let Hodor be around my children. It's like, no, this guy should be put to the fields and basically be a beast of burden for the rest of his life. And I guess we see later on, he does become that for brand. But no, I'm really concerned about the, like, the, the intelligence at Winterfell. And if there's something in the water there that lets people just think Hodor should be around their children for extended periods of time. What's the cost benefit ratio of this guy being around your kids? You it, know? Only, it only takes one instant. I understand that there's great possible benefit and you can use him for other stuff. Like Don said, like this guy could probably replace a horse and a horse and buggy. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good use for him. He can carry hay on his back. And I guess they wouldn't have hay in Winterfell, but whatever, you know, meat from animals that they kill, bring it back. He can be your pack Brahmin pretty much. But what if he hurts your kid just one time? And he's an idiot too, by the way. He's there's no accountability for this guy. He could always just claim that he was stupid. <laughs> he might be playing the long game. He's ready to abuse your kid. He just spent 20 years getting you comfortable with it first. <laughs> so that when he finally does it, he can uh, Lenny. He can be the Lenny. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. It's like, uh, yeah, right, dude. Except they are gonna believe it. I think it's worse than that because he can't you can't even admit he did it because you are so stupid to let him around your kid for that long that when it happens, it's really your fault. And you can't tell people because you're like, of course he did. Yeah, yeah of course. Like, you guys are never going to guess what happened, dude. I yeah. So I left Hodor with my young son, <laughs> Bran, for a week. And guess what? It's like, yeah, wait, wait, full stop. You left Hodor, the town idiot, <laughs> who's the strength of an elephant with your yep. little tiny 10 year old kid. It's like, yeah, what do you think was going to happen? Yeah. Also, the smell in this guy cannot be good, right? Like you, you have to just look at him and go. He's probably significantly worse than everybody else around him. Smell wise. Oh, yeah. See, I, I don't know if I agree with that. I look at this guy and I think maybe there's one thing. Maybe there's one thing that he's got, <laughs> and he might <laughs> smell great. It might that might be his thing. You know what I mean? And maybe that's why Brand's so comfortable riding on his back. No one seems put off by him. Maybe the smell is compensating for every other negative trait. He might have a good musk. Like he really might. He really that could might. be his one benefit. That and his great strength. And it might I be will even. say a good smell is very disarming, right? If I'm immediately kind of yes. put off by some person and they smell great, I'm trusting them for some reason, though. It might even be mystical. He's part giant. Maybe it gives off some kind of pheromone, some kind of enchanting right. pheromone. It might be convincing the Stark family, like, all right, this guy's clearly not a threat. Let him around your kids. And it might be all part of the plan, dude. Gator, you said something earlier about uh, the long game. Uh, Zax, mm -hmm. how long do you think you could play up this act of being Hodor in for the benefit of basically just being a babysitter for the Lord of Winterfell, right? It's like a great benefit. You don't have to do anything. Everyone treats you like a baby. Mm -hmm. uh, you literally miss, like you make a mistake once, and they're like, "It's okay, it's okay, Zach." You're like, Zach, <laughs> oh. how long do you think you can keep that up? Always, like, I could, I could play that up forever. Oh, you you end up no in the way. You wander to the women's locker room. You go, oh, Hodor, right? He didn't know. How can I? How do I know what these signs mean? I can't read, right? Like, Hodor, that, your your heart is a rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Multiple times a day, you go, Hodor, right? That's it. That's all you can right. do. Yeah, and people, you're kind of lovable at the end, maybe, maybe not, but it doesn't matter because you got yours. <laughs> and maybe not. Yeah, it's all good because yeah, you there's nothing you can do wrong because you're you're Hodor, and people have to accept you for who you are, and this is. You can identify as whatever you want. So you're a Hodor.
No joke. Uh, it would it would actually be super nice. Like this guy is so physically yeah. capable. Like you can mm -hmm. do basically anything you want, and you have this impression of you spread around your immediate area. Everybody expects nothing out of you. It's the dream. Zero responsibility, maximum potential to do whatever you want. He's just not taking full advantage on screen. That is. I'm kind of on Team Hodor in a way. And uh, think about like if you have to have a pickle jar open, do you want him around? For what? To, to open, open it because it's uh, massive strength. I don't know. I listen. Hodor is a complete mystery to me. I don't know what he's doing with that pickle jar. Uh, I would think it's to open it up, but you know, it's like yeah, no. want him around for pickles. You're like, yeah. Let's, let's just say he's got good squat form. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. let's, let's go to the chat real quick. A common idiot showed up, Matt. Uh, I don't know if we don't really have uh, mods drop people's links in the chat right now, but uh, go ahead, drop people's links in the chat. Matt, a common idiot, great YouTube channel. Check him out. Uh, Nosferatu says, uh, Hodor was banned from Crasher's Keep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's one of, that's Gator's like favorite place. Like one of his favorite <laughs> locations in all of Westeros. Dude, hell yeah. Crasher's Keep. I'd hang out there, man. Um, Azrael, first of his name says, I mean, if you allow your son to climb tall trees and ruins, you might as well have him, he, he correct himself later, have him kick it with Hodor. That is true. I mean, they're not really looking out for their best interest for their children, right? Yeah, but listen, the lick it thing is actually probably more accurate than you know. I think that's, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm guessing that happened quite a bit there. It contributed to Bran's, uh, you know, degenerative mental state later in life. Uh, Bush says, if Bran wasn't telling him what to do, Hodor would be sitting naked. Eating dirty, <laughs> farting and giggling. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's fucking nasty, man. But yeah, probably. No, probably. I'll watch it. Fact check, true. Uh, yeah, Santa Hodor, Dildo. Hodor but... was secretly all about that underage Stark bussy. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Thankfully, it was Bran because Rickon would actually be the biggest like victimization because he's the youngest or whatever. So, mm. right. Yeah, at least at least and, he, he didn't total degenerate, you know. And Bran can't feel it, right? Not anymore. So it's all good. Oh, dude, new theory. Bran yep. was trying to get paralyzed because he didn't <laughs> want to have the pain anymore. <laughs> he knew it was going to keep happening. He just didn't want the pain to continue. He's the yeah. three-eyed raven, right? Poor Bran.